you're listening to the University of the Arts on Apple's iTunes U. Hi, this is Evan Solod, Composition Department Chair at University of the Arts. Last time we talked about taking a little musical idea and throwing it around from instrument to instrument and uh, having it go from background to foreground. Today I want to talk about another idea, which is almost a little exercise, and it might seem silly, but you can see exactly how it can work. I want to take one little idea, two notes, -da, and then add to the tail of it. Da, 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 and then add to the tail of that and c continue building. Of course, at some point you have to stop. But here's an example of it. Check this out. Time to move on. And here, we change key. Moving on now, I'm going to take the same simple little piece that you just heard written for brass and rhythm section and orchestrate it for another ensemble, this time for strings. Same piece, everything is the same except the orchestration is entirely different and gives a different effect. Check it out.
So by taking the smallest musical idea, adding to its tail, having it grow and grow, orchestrating it for one kind of ensemble, orchestrating it for another ensemble, these are just different ways to build your creativity, grow your ideas, and hopefully make you a better composer. Thanks for listening to the University of the Arts on iTunes U. The University of the Arts is the nation's first and only university dedicated to the visual, performing, and communication arts. Its 2,300 students are enrolled in undergraduate and graduate programs on its campus in the heart of Philadelphia's Avenue of the Arts. The institution's roots as a leader in educating creative individuals date back to 1868. For more information, visit www.uarts.edu or call 1-800-616-ARTS. <laughs>